Yellow. Hello. Is this working? I'm going to assume that this is working. Well, uh, nobody's here. For all I know, I'm just talking into the void. But whatever. I, I guess I'm just gonna start doodling here and see how this stream stuff works. Okay. Well, if anyone shows up, I guess I'll be here, and you can join me. Do I have enough space for this chat thing there? Yeah, sorry, this is all brand new to me. Well, right, I think I have everything set up fine. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just get started on doodling stuff. Alrighty. Well, I just got a new computer, so I thought I was going to test things out and see how this all goes. For all I know, this is way too loud, or just right, but without anyone here I can't really check, so yeah, I guess I'll just start doodling something. Just got set up with this new version of GIMP on this thing. And maybe make a, a little me up here. Yeah, it's, it's very odd, the settings on the little device here that's, uh... Oh wait, I'm drawing on the background. No, 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 no. Need to make a new layer. There we go. Now I can make whatever little goofy images I want. But yeah, I got started on this new computer today. I just... I've been trying to get streams to work here for a while, and it's just never worked. Because my computer is so out... my other computer is so out of date that the program, like OBS streaming software, it does not... it's not compatible with it. It's like a Windows 7. And it needs like a Windows 10 or 8. No, it's 8. And oh, there. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I've got one person here. Is the audio okay or is it destroying your ears or can you even hear it? <laughs> nice to see you could come. I wonder if there's a delay in this also. <sighs> Just put in a little message in chat in case the audio isn't working. Yeah, like I said, for all I know, I could just be talking to blank thin air. Actually, I guess I... Can I check to see if there's anyone? I guess not without leaving the program here. Oh well. Oh well. Well, according to you, the audio is fine. Or no. Oh yeah. Alright. Well, do you have any requests for what I can draw? No, I hear... I hear something in the other room. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I always try to... Well, what I used to do when I was younger is I'd put the mouth 
line all the way at the bottom of the face, and sometimes I still do that when the mouth is open, but it... It makes it easier to add other things like lips and clefts and stuff if you leave a little space there. Yeah, but there's a little me. Give it a little ring around the eye for some craziness. Give it a bit of personality. Yeah, well, at least I got one viewer here. There are a couple of people I know that will always tune into my stuff, like, no matter what. But getting them all at once is something that I don't know how likely that is to happen. All the different time zones and things people are doing at different times of day. Yeah, this is fun. I guess technically I could play games on here. That, that would require me having games on here. But, uh, this has been a bit of... I just wanted to get all set into streaming. I didn't want to have to deal with all the setup stuff, but it actually went a lot quicker than I thought it would. Main thing was just waiting for this in the mail. Wait, I've got an idea. Yeah. Hey, can you uh, see the internet window here, or can you just see the art GIMP window? Just out of curiosity. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> I guess we've got two then. Yeah, I'm doing great. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, I think I have an idea then. Yeah. Uh, um. yeah, this is all just getting used to this stuff. Yeah. I used to be better at talking about things. It's... When I have a script in front of me, it's fine, but when it's just talking about stuff, I used to... There's like... Uh, with me, there's... It feels like I've lost sort of the ability to just spontaneously talk about stuff as well. Like, I can still do it, it just takes more effort now. And I want to say that's... I don't want to say that's getting older. I want to say it's due more to the pains and stuff in my body. That's another... It's something... Something else. But... <sighs> yeah, here I am. You all know me. So, is anything happening lately? that's, like, noteworthy in your guys' lives or anything. Like, no need to share personal anything. Just to make conversation here. Or I guess if you want, just shout out whatever you want me to scribble and I can do that. <laughs> YouTube appropriate, of course. Let's make a little earthworm gym. Yeah. Gym was always, like, arguably my favorite game ever. Those designs for Comic Maker. Well, you are always dilly dallying and stuff. 
<laughs> oh, that's something I could draw. I know that's what you were working on. Or, unless that is a request. Either way, I can draw that. <laughs> All right, now we're on gym, though. Looking all... Eh. Uh, this is kind of fun. Get into, like, chat and... draw at the same time. With Jim's design, a lot of... Like, his official stuff always has these eyebrows, if you look close enough, but when they want to draw them more lazy, or I guess just any time, it just sort of switches between eyelashes and not. It really just depends on what mood you're in at the time. Obviously, for animation, it takes more work to do the eyelashes, so... I just usually leave him without the eyelashes, because you can barely see it. Or, I don't think you even can see it in the game sprite without, like, limited. Yeah, just give them the standard cupped eyelids there. Now let's do a little fish lady as per possible request. Some lips. It just got me thinking about mystical ninja a bit and the fish person. Thinking about the kappa, kind of. Hmm. La di da di da da da. Da di da. Sound kind of like Tricky from Star Fox Adventures doing that. Yeah, I know you would make a... You'd probably draw a more curvaceous fish lady. And I probably will too in a bit. More like a quashy. But this is a... More, more the type of fish lady you'd see hanging around the aquarium. Give her some nice, luscious hair here. This is the closest I've come to, like, literally talking to any of you. Yeah, it's more just gender fluid beauty than woman beauty right now, it looks like. That hair could go with anyone. Could put that lipstick on either gender. Oh, yeah, we talk on Discord a bit, but, like, I never say, like, I never speak speak into that, really. There we go, make it a girl. Well, just fawning over her beauty. Let's see, put some fingers up there to slick back the hair a bit. No. Yeah, this could... This could honestly be a character in Doku's world. His world is just full of all sorts of different types of people. The Mesa Fish Lady. Well, I'm happy that this is 
the, like, audio is going well. I was worried it wasn't gonna work at all with all the hoops I had to jump through to get this going. Mm. Let's see, should we? Yeah, I guess some gills there. And give it some eyelashes to accentuate the femininity of it. Oh yeah, that's good. Word of that. I'll give it something. There we go. Ugh. <sighs> I got three things doodled here. Okay. Let's see. Give them a bit more of a back thing. That is one angry gem. <laughs> He's always pretty gruff looking in the like official art, but whenever it's just, like, in-game stuff, he's always pretty happy. More the Mike Kelsch type pictures where he's all grrr stuff. Eh, uh, Yeah, I really should've... I was thinking about trying to get some music to play during this, but I'm not sure... I have music, but it's on the other computer, and I guess I could put in the hard drive I have connected to it to get some music going, but uh, I, I don't know if I should really try that while the stream is running, if that might mess it up, messing around with all the plugins and stuff. Hmm. Little shoulders and back to them. Now, I'm kind of surprised Nessasa. I always say that as Nessa. I always... Well, I'm surprised you're still awake sometimes. I guess it's not too late in the day for you, but with how your work schedule is now, it's... A bit iffy sometimes. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do for Jim. Let's make a more attractive for humans fish girl, I guess. Alright. Give it a more human looking face. Don't want to just make a quashy. Kind of. Let's see. Mm, ba, ba, ba. Where I am. Ah. No. Yeah, you are always drawing. Out of curiosity, uh. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, hello, and you type hi as fast as you can when I say that, okay? I'm just seeing how much of a delay there is. <clears throat> hello. And waiting. Uh, no, not that. Let's
Hmm. Oh, wow, that is a bit of a delay. Well, oh. huh. Maybe 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds? I don't know if there's a... Sure there's a way to, like, mess with that. Oh, hello, Sideburns. How are you doing? Start recording. Settings. I'd be messing with this while I'm doing this. Well, afternoon for me, I guess. Five o'clock here. Well, as long as you guys are able to, I guess, keep up with what's going on, it's fine. Wasn't too far off, I guess. Ah, now back to the... I'm just trying to figure out how to do the fish lady now. Let's see. Scales, scales. Always got to do nice, thick eyelashes for them. The female characters, that is. It's the cheap and easy way to tell the difference in the genders, usually. You just need a girl, put the eyelashes on, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't want the pupils too small. That's way too big. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see. Yeah, usually... Yeah, it's... Eh. With lips, it's a bit hard sometimes. Usually, if you do the mouth like that with that little point downwards, it gives room more for the upper lip if you're going to put that. Sometimes I just do the lower lip, though, like that. And that just makes it look like a l enough lip for that. But since I made the indentation, I may as well do both. Yeah, there's also the cheekbone you can do, but I'm gonna leave it off. Yeah. Well, are you up to anything, sideburns? I, I don't know why I'm pausing, as if you can, like, respond to me. <laughs> I mean, eventually you can, but... There's no way to, like, directly interact immediately. <laughs> uh, streaming thing's just a bit new to me is all, I guess. Yeah, I think... Yeah, there, that, that'll do. Let's see, maybe a little gem up there? I do that for a Quashi. I don't want to do that for everyone, but... There's... Mm, Let's do a little... Actually, we're gonna do the skull monster teeth thing. Well, I'm sure I'm gonna talk to you at some point throughout our lives, probably sooner than later. Yeah. Do I want to do the tooth thing? It doesn't really seem fish-like, but it's like... It's fish-like in spirit, I'll go with that. Because I was going to... I'm doing this, like, whole headdress thing. Make some skull-type 
thing up here. But make it a fishy skull, so there's like fins here. It's still fishy enough. But now it just looks sort of like a girl that's wearing another head on top of her. So let's just... And maybe seaweed type here? I'm thinking more nori or kelp. No, not kelp. Oh, here's where we can save it. Put in some gill. There we go. There's a fish person. Yeah. We got some seaweed. <sighs> and if there's any interruptions here, I am with Grandma here. I'm helping her out in older age, so there. If I get called away, that may be what it is. I somewhat doubt it'll happen, but just a little heads up in case it does. Let me put some scales on. Let's see. Character creation. Yeah, scales. Now for a Quashi, technically she is pretty much naked in the comics. But it's like there's no mammalian, like, no nipples or anything, so you can't really tell unless you're attention. Yeah. yeah, there's, I guess, some brow, brow, skull, bone ridges there. Hmm. Yeah, it's more of a fish person wearing a fish monster on their head. It feels like there should be stuff here. I guess, yeah, a bit more. A bit more of the seaweed dipping down. There we go. <laughs> yeah, little fish hat. Hatch one, take out the insides, and just put it on your head. Hopefully I'll be able to... Ow. Hopefully I'll be able to do this, like, put the chat up in the sidebar when I put this up afterwards, so there's, like, context to what I'm responding to. <sighs> mm, maybe a bit of cheekbone there. I think we're... Yeah, I'm thinking that's turning out fine enough. And just... Fish lady with fish hat. Oh, well... For a quashi, that's like... There's nothing, like, inappropriate really showing about her in the comic. <laughs> It's just that it's for whatever works for the comedic effect or cartoony effects. There is a sense of, well, why would this happen in this situation in real life? But then there's also the aspect of, well, it's, uh, it's a cartoon, so... Like, you don't really question the ins and outs of the different 
animal people a dragon ball or anything. Yeah, we got four little guys here. Anything anyone else would care to suggest for drawings or anything? I guess technically this could be seen as a request, like, place to do requests, but this isn't like full art or anything, it's just little scribbles here and there. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of how to do my little internet self here. I always think of him as sort of a cyborg. So he, some, like, if you see in my videos, when I animate him, like, he'll have parts of him pop out at times. Try to illustrate that aspect of him every so often. After the damage he took at the end of that Dragon Ball review, he's going to have quite some repairs for the next review when that starts up. It will be continuing straight on from where that one left off. Assuming I get time to work on it. Yeah, I also need to rough out the uh, rest of the comic that I'm doing at the moment. I have the story all thought out, but I only have like either... It's like between half and three quarters of the way roughed out page-wise. Like, I've got all of Doko's latest fight completely all, like the Octoclops fight, all roughed out. So that's all set in stone. And I do know how the matches, the final matches are going to go. But I'm obviously not going to tell anything about those, as that would be major spoilers. Let's see. Yeah, if you ever want crazy looking characters, make the pupil a bit smaller in the eye and put the ring around it. Then if you really want crazy... Eh, not the craziest. What you do is you make the ring around the eye and then you shrink the pupil. That's how you get the insane look. Or you do that and make one eye normal and one eye that way. Mm -da -da. Yeah, I've always had a problem with like recording when I know people are listening. It's not not something that's comfortable for me ever. Do not like to show off how I actually am a lot of times in front of people. Very quiet in real life. When I'm alone though, that's when the recordings happen and I just get to go all out. <laughs> Pop. Here we go. Let just get rid of all that. I wonder if there's a time limit for how long this will go for. Well, it seems to be going steady right now. Hmm. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, I've got like a 
I think I have a problem where, like, I am always needing to draw, like, every single day. That is all that I do, no matter what. It is what I live to do. Okay, let's separate the teeth here so that I can have a guide for how the... Okay, get rid of that. Alright, that's where the fang would be. You gotta remember if you're separating the teeth, it's like two... four normal teeth, two on each side, and then is the fang. And then after that, it, all the way back is like normal looking. Obviously, don't do just a fang that's like razor sharp unless you're doing an animal person or a vampire or something, but that's how I always keep it on my head. Or normal at the front and then the fang. Yeah, since I'm showing the inner workings kind of though here, I'm popping it out a bit and get to see a bit more. And there were all these little guides my mom had for how to keep track of where all the facial features were supposed to go. It's like the nostril, let's see, what is it? I think it's the end of the nostril lines up with the beginning of the eye, so like that. And then the eyebrow lines up with, uh, I think the top of the ear or the start of the top. And then the nostril lines up with the, like, where the ear starts at the bottom, the ear lobe. I think that's how that went. After a while, it just becomes second nature to you how to, how everything, like, is mapped out on a face. Yeah. Oh, I need to move him down. 